What happens to our water after it goes down the drain? Hi everyone, Greg with the City of Tehachapi here with Tyler Napier, our Deputy Public Works Director. And as you recall, we did a podcast recently about our wastewater treatment plant and the operations. Well, today we're going to shoot a little video on how things work. So we're standing here at the Archimedes Screw and tell us that, how does this work? What does it do? Yeah, so right below me is where the wastewater from the entire city comes into the plant and the process begins here. Archimedes Screw is simply a lift pump to take the wastewater from this level up into the aeration basin where we'll go next. Perfect. Look, look forward to seeing you at the aeration basin next. Okay, Tyler, we just left the Archimedes Screw. We're here on top of what I call the racetrack but it's the aeration basin. Tell the viewers what's happening here. Right. Yeah, once the water is lifted from the Archimedes screws into the aeration basin, we have two pumps or aer aerators with motors that uh, add air to the, what we call mixed liquor suspended solids. This is where the biological process begins. The oxygen is added to create a good environment and a healthy life, life area for the bugs, which then break down the waste. So this is where the bugs are doing their magic, right, right here. Yep. Okay. This is the process right All here. Right. This, everything happens here Perfect. and then we'll move on to the next spot. Okay, we're gonna go. So we just left the aeration basin and now we're here at the clarifier. What happens at this point, Tyler? Yeah, so this is the actual last piece of our treatment process. When the water leaves the aeration basin, heads to the clarifier, about four to five hundred gallons per minute, all day long, all night long, comes into here, enters into the center of the clarifier, the velocity slows way down, allows everything to settle, and the clean water to discharge over the launderer and the weir into the launderer to discharge the, to the pond. And to the ponds behind us. But I notice we're using water in the process. So it's Monday City Council meeting, City Council approved a, a project where we could stop using potable water or fresh water and start using recycled water, thus saving over 100 acre feet of fresh water every year. That's a big deal. Big deal. So Tyler, I don't want to say this is our last stop because there are lots of different areas that are very important in this process. We started at the screw, we went to the, what I call the racetrack and then the settling area, the clarifier, but we're here now in the dewatering pump press room. So tell us what happens in this room. Yeah, so the dewatering press was installed back in 2012 as part of our plant upgrade. Uh, as you can imagine, some of the wastewater that stays within the plant gets old. We want to keep the system fresh, the bugs healthy. Some of the bugs that die just settle out in the plant. Within the clarifier and the aeration basin, we pull a certain amount, about 30,000 gallons a day of sludge off both both areas of the plant will come here. This screw will then squeeze as much water out of the sludge as we possibly can, and then we'll dewater that out into the sludge drying bed. At we get to a certain point, we do sampling of that to ensure that the, the, the quality of that sludge is good. It's then hauled off as compost to a composting facility down in the valley. Okay. We've moved over to the north side of the airport, the Tehachapi Event Center and Rodeo Grounds. We're here in front of an alfalfa field, Tyler. So tell us what's happening with this boiling water coming out of the yeah, ground. This is actually the very end of our process. We, we reclimate the water on the, on the alfalfa and fodder crop. We grow that for nitrogen uptake and to be done with the water, frankly. This is the end of the, end of the process. This is the end of the process. We'd like to thank everybody for joining us on this video series. I hope it was informational for all of you. We'll see you next time.